Hi there, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. And uh, today we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do like a big clump of trees that are sort of coming down to meet in the middle. And then uh, it's kind of, it's becoming spring here in Southern Ontario. So, uh, but it's still, you know, the skies aren't really blue, but they're not, um, they're not that 100% gray either. So I just put a little bit of blue across the top of the sky there. I got a little mark in here, but I put a little bit of blue on there, a little bit of Payne's gray on there. And now we're gonna put some more, I wanna get some blooms going here and on this side. So I'm gonna put quite a bit of pigment in here because I want some bigger trees this time. All right, so. I'm going to pick up some straight pigment here, right out of the palette. And we'll get some bigger blooms here. So what I try to do is I try to get the water to carry the pigment. And you can see here the water has carried the pigment off to the side. The paper is starting to bubble up because it's very wet. That's okay though. And we're just going to keep putting pigment in here until we get this tree lines sort of going up very, very high. I'm just gonna keep putting the pigment in. Just keep topping the brush. All right, that's sort of what it is that I'm going for. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more pigment, make it a little bit darker across the bottom here. Now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna rinse it out. And I'm gonna pick up some of this sienna. And I'm just gonna to touch this in a few spots that. I'm going to pick up some more sienna right out of the palette. Just like that. And get that to bloom a little bit too. Okay. I'm going to create a little bit of a hill sloping down this way. And again, I'm not going to rinse this brush out. I'm going to take this brush and pick up some yellow ochre and streak that across there and get that yellow ochre to blend into that sienna. And that's kind of what it is that I'm going for up here in the sky. That's sort of what I was, I was wanting. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this right into the yellow ochre now. Get a little bit of yellow ochre in there. Nice, that's turning out all right. Look at all those are blooming there, very cool. Rinse out your brush. And I'm gonna pick up, um, I'm actually gonna make a little bit of green here because uh, I shouldn't say make green. I'm going to get some sap green. Just a little bit of sap green here. Touch this in a few places. Touch that in a few places. Just a little lick of sap green across there like that. All right. Now, here I have a... This is a number one watercolor brush. Number one round. And I've sharpened one end. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw in some tree branches in here. Wherever it is that you think you need a tree branch. And down here I'm going to put in some more foliage. Just like that. All right, that's turning out not too bad, right? Okay, we need this whole thing to dry now. So um, just put your hair dryer on it or, you know, leave it to dry for a while. And then we'll come back and we'll do some more. All right, that dried up uh, pretty well. I like it. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow ochre in here. And, you know, this is sort of our mid-ground, so I'm going to put quite a bit of pigment in here. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to rinse this out. And I'm going to dry it mostly off. Just with my hand, just pull some of the pigment off there. And I want to introduce some green as sort of a underlying... You know, color that's um, 
you know, it's the beginning of spring. Anyways, that's all I want to do there. I was going to take a little bit of salt, you know, just to add some visual interest to this and just put a little bit of salt in there. I didn't put too much salt. You can see I just put a, a few grains here and there. All right, let's let this dry. All right, so that dried up pretty cool. You can see where that salt has left all these little spots across there. It's still a little bit gritty. And uh, look at all this bloom turned into a tree. I mean, you know, you can't, you can't beat that with a stick. Look at this uh, foreground here. What happens when we put our mat on it? Yeah, that was pretty much exactly what it was I was thinking about. I like that little bit of uh, orangey light back there in this, in the background. Again, these are all just happy little accidents that happen when you work with this sort of very intuitive, wet kind of watercolor painting. Well, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you have an awesome day painting, and we'll see you again real soon.